Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will take this dashboard here and make it a bit more visual using the tools available in Excel 2016. First of all, I'm going to move all this data together. You see I have the same headings here three times, so I'm going to start by moving this data together. So I'm just going to move the headings over here. I'm just dragging and dropping this data here and then I can just remove the columns that are no longer needed. I'll delete those columns there and those columns. And then, as you see, this gets a bit wide, so make these columns wide enough for the headings, that's not really pretty. So I'm, instead I'm going to change the format of these cells, and change the alignment and align the text like this instead. Makes it look better. But most people who look at this will probably have a really good idea of what these numbers actually mean. So I think that works. Um, then I'm going to do a se thousand separator of course on these numbers and uh, then I'm going to start proving this a bit. So first of all I want to use the conditional formatting and make these into data bars instead. I think that's uh, good color for that and that makes it more visible of course and um, I can do the same on this but with another color like that maybe and then finally I'll do something with this and in this case I'll use the icon sets I think these look good and then I can just widen that a bit I think this does look a lot more visual than, than it did before and then I'm gonna format this as a table always a good idea to do. And then make these a bit tighter anyway. Let's see. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to add a slicer by inserting a slicer here. There we go. And I'm just going to do the column one, which of course shouldn't be named column one, it should be area. Do a slicer there and back pick the area there. So now I can just go ahead and click on these and have different numbers, or I can select several of them like that and um, show those data. Then for the customer satisfaction, I would really like to have a graph on that. So to have a graph on just one number doesn't really work at all. So instead of just having one number there, I'm going to have two. So this is the number of customers that are happy. So let's just do another one, unhappy customers. And of course that is the one minus the percentage we had there. So that's 12% non-happy. Now I, now I can do a pie chart of this and that's fine. As you see, I get the customers and the unhappy customers there. I'll call this uh, customer satisfaction. And let's see, we can move this over a bit there, and then we can move that there. Let's see, I'll put these data down here instead. Making it more like a dashboard kind of thing here. Now, I actually don't want to display unhappy customers, I just want this customer satisfaction to be you know 88% full so what I can do then is I can first of all remove this section here and the simplest way of doing that is simply selecting it and pressing delete and then I can't remove this part because I still want to show all the data but instead of removing I can just go in into the format here and make the shape fill white and of course the important thing is to actually select the right thing then and now I have that slice selected, so let's try that again on that slice. Now I have the customer satisfaction there, and then I just want to add a data label there. Add short elements, data labels, there we go. I want to have the data best fit, sounds good, there we go. 
and I don't want those 12% to be visible so I, again I select those there and change the color on those white on white should be invisible so there we go now I have a customer satisfaction graph there of 88% happy so I think that's a rather nice looking dashboard of the current status of my relevant number of course I can make this slightly larger so it actually covers those numbers there so that's a few tips and tricks on how to build a dashboard in Excel 2016. Thank you for watching this demonstration.